This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. IRC is not only for your three-year-old version of you anymore, and also not for your Hack 5 IRC walls, but now you can use IRC to do chats like in AOL, wait, and MSN. Wait, what are you talking about? Of course you can use IRC for chat. It's internet well, yeah, relay chat. Well, yeah, chats, of course, but you can also use it for like your AOL Instant Messenger and MSN Instant Messenger because we all use that, right? Can I use it for my five-digit ICQ? Oh, for show. All right, cool. Well, actually, you know why I'm using this? I'm using this program for Twitter because I turned my Twitter account into a big <sighs> fat chat room. Dude, that is so cool. It so you're tying awesome. in modern day, modern day, modern day with stuff, old web school tubo. software. Yeah, we were just reading that. It turns out IRC is from 1988. 1988. That, that's, I was take three that, years Tim old. Tim Berners-Lee and that HTTP. I feel so old now. It's God, awesome. I can't believe it's so, so old. No, 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 it's still love, around I, and people I still use it. I love that it's still around. And look, it's still lively. Oh, so hello, Mr. Protocol. So how do we get our? Um, how did okay. you get Twitter so to IRC? So to combine these two, you need to use a program such as Biddlebee. Now there's a couple of other ones out there that you can use. Uh, Biddlebee is the one that I decided on, but you know, email me whichever ones you like. Feedback at hack5.org, and I'll check them all out. I mean, shoot, why not? But if you go over to biddlebee.org, you can download it straight from there. Uh, this is for Linux and for your IRC clients, and it can work with XChat with whatever IRC clients you're using. It doesn't really matter which one. Um, you can also apt-get install it if you're using Ubuntu. So, Darren, what are you using on yours? I'm actually in Debian, so I'll probably Debian. be. Debian, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to so, see if I can follow along. Yeah, so see if you can apt-get install it. And then once you do that, see I have my Twitter running over here so I can make sure that I see what's going on up to date. Once you do that, you just open up your chat, your X chat or whatever you have, and you choose one of the servers. It doesn't matter which one, so I just go into the Ubuntu server. Or you can go into the uh, Secfo IRC one for the Hack5 channel. Sure. And down here, you type in server localhost. OK, so you, you were just trying to get out of the, the pop-up that XGen yeah. typically does. You can actually exactly. just disable that in the settings so you don't have to first join oh, a I server. Oh, I can do that? Yeah, I need to do that. Regardless. So, well, I just joined a server, and I typed in slash server localhost. And this the reason for that is because Biddleby is installed on your machine, and it is running as a server on your physical uh, uh, physical laptop or so, whatever. So, uh, but I just installed mine on a virtual private server in the cloud because my Ubuntu VM See, was acting up, so. if you do so it in the VM, then you should be able to connect it to it the same way. Right, but I actually put it up in the cloud, so I could <laughs> get to it the same way. I just need to hit it by the IP address in this case. Okay, so, yeah, yeah that should work then. So, um, the local host, of course, is my own machine. Once you get in there, it's going to ask you to either identify yourself or to create a new account if you haven't already created one. Now, creating a, in a, new, a new account is really, really easy. And when you say creating an account, what do you mean by that? What do this you is basically just so that you have not only your screen name, but it's really easy to log in to all of your different chat clients every time that you boot it up. Okay, so you're like integrating in the other services yeah. when you create accounts. Yeah, so you, there's a bunch of different commands that you need to basically follow along with when you first install it. And the easiest way to do it is to type the help command once you're in the Biddleby uh, root channel. Oh, I just did it. You got uh, in? Well, I, I totally just installed it on a uh, virtual private server and now yes, I'm in it already. Awesome. Sweet. Okay, cool. So type help in the root uh, Biddleby channel. Okay, I did, and I got like quick start commands exactly. away, smileys. So it's going to give you a whole bunch of different commands that you can basically read through on your own time. But the really important one here is to type help quick start. When you do this, it's going to tell you how to start your own us username and register and create your password and whatnot. Now, when you type in your password here, it's going to give you it back in plain text. But you also have the option to use IRC's, um, I guess you would call it encryption, uh, to type it in without it being seen and coming back to you uh, physically on your computer. OK. So for myself, I just did an example one. Um, and you're also you're doing it on localhost. See, I would I set am. up like SSL or SSAL or 
or SASL, sorry, it's SASL, we can get into that later, but uh, since you're doing a local, you don't really need to worry about a man in the middle yeah. as much. No, I really it's don't. It's never going outside of your Wi-Fi or Ethernet. But if you are doing Ethernet. something like this, like on mm -hmm. an open network, e even if you are on an open network and somebody's sniffing whatever's going on, then you should definitely use the IRC protocols. Yeah, actually to this VPS, I go through Tor to get to it anyway, so. Good. Yay! Okay, so once you get on and you've registered, you can, uh, if you ever close out of it, just type in identify and the password that you chose. Uh, for mine, I typed in identify Starbuck. Okay. That's like the worst password ever. But yeah, it's like lame it's password. It's an example. Okay. Good deal. And then you can sign on to all your different accounts. Now to do this, I'm going to type help quick start two. Maybe. Oh, I switched over to Twitter. My bad. Help quick start two. two. And this is going to show you how to add all of your accounts. So it's very simple. I love how easy they make it. You just type in account, add. So if I'm going to add, say, I don't know, MSN or something, for example, I would type in account, add, the protocol, and the protocol will be MSN, and then your name. So my username would be you know, snubsy at hotmail.com with your password. So if my password was Starbuck, I just type it in Starbuck. Account add MSN snubsy at hotmail.com Starbuck. And it'll authenticate automatically for you. And once you do that, just type in account on and it'll log you into every account that you have set up. So how does it show up in your IRC? Because, you know, I'm used to using like multiple, you know, using um, a bouncer to maintain a connection to multiple different servers. I see this. Build sure, yeah. is just your own IRC server. So in this case, I would have it also connect to Localos or my VPS. So I can show you my example for Twitter since I already have that one set up. Yeah, I just um, noticed your tweet. Paul, you want to check this out? <laughs> yeah. This is an awesome Help tweet by Shannon. Two. Help <laughs> quick start too. That's a wonderful tweet. Thanks, guys. <laughs> So I'm in my Biddleby channel right now, but if I wanted to go ahead and log on to my Twitter account, it automatically sets up a different channel for Twitter. So my entire Twitter feed of everybody that I follow and anything that is at replied to me will show up in this feed. So up here I have a whole bunch of at replies. Oh, so they just show up as red because yeah. they're at you. Yes, exactly. So, so they show up just like they would in regular IRC when somebody just types in like snubs. Well, depending on your notify settings, but the yeah. default uh, XChat notify settings, totally in red, that's awesome. And of course you can customize it if you want to. You can change it just like you can in IRC as well. They also have a whole bunch of different add-ons, like you can, um, you can add and delete your friends, you can choose to follow more people through MSN, through Biddleby, mm -hmm. if that makes any sense. Sure, sure, you can like add people, okay. Yeah. So, and what other protocols, because I know we were, we were playing um, with it there's, earlier. There's, yeah, there's AOL, MSN, I believe AOL's on there, there's um, Jabber as well, and Twitter. Cool. So you can use Gtalk with it. That's what I use all the time, so okay, if awesome. I'm on here and I'm like, hey Shannon, what's up? So you're in your G Talk? Yep. Okay. Ah, so if you look at mine, it shows up down here as a different channel. It's a basically a PM. Oh, like IRC. a private message. So yeah. over there on the left. So I click then... on that and it shows me, hey Shannon, what's up? And it sh gives me your email address at the top, ardwolf at gmail.com. So I can type down here, hey dude, nice computer. <laughs> Nice. So it's going to tell me that you're away because your your notification on Gtalk is away, but uh, you should is. still re receive my reply in both Gmail and Biddleby. That's awesome. Of now, course, if you do not have, about to, I won't be able to start a video chat. <laughs> no, no video chats in IRC, unfortunately. <laughs> if you do have two-factor authentication, you got to set up your um, um, whatever it's called. One-time password. Yeah, the, well, it's or the one application, time application application specific password. password. Yes. Yeah, application specific password. Um, I'm sure that's the same with any other thing that uses two factor as well. Just set up the app specific one, and you're good to go, and it logs on just fine. I love how this can tie into. We did a segment, uh, wow, uh, a year ago now, on setting up ZNC. It's an IRC bouncer that allows yeah. you to always. I remember like, that. Yeah, yeah, so you can maintain a persistent connection to all of your IRC channels. If you coupled this, super easy. This is the beauty about like Hack5 and some of the stuff we talk about. You, if you couple 
uh, Biddleby, which is running mm -hmm. on port what 6669 as a regular um, IRC server, mm -hmm. as well as ZNC as your bouncer, as well as SSH forwarders. Oh my so gosh. you tunnel everything <laughs> through like a dynamic uh, SSH proxy. That's cool. Then it maintains your security through that. Oh, and then dude. suddenly you could be in all of your IRC channels and your Twitter and your uh, XMPP, your your <laughs> Yahoo That's chat, awesome. <laughs> all of those other ones. That's so cool. I love it. Yeah, Stack I love it, it. too. It's, yeah. it's so easy to use. Let's see, I got an at reply on Twitter. So here's somebody, Anthony Lawler said, quick start to technical support. How can I help you today? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So everything shows up right there for me. I never have to go back to the internet, so I can just stick around in IRC all day. That is so cool. I, I wonder it. how it truncates after 140 characters with uh, with that. If it uses one of those like you want to find out services, yeah, go ahead. Okay, let's find out. Yeah. Let's see. The quick brown fox jumped over the blue effing moon. But seriously, fox best can't tweet jump ever. Why can't they? I just don't know. We're recording. Hack five. Okay, that should okay, that definitely should be, be long over enough. 140. <laughs> ah, so it tells you over in your root, Biddleby, it says Twitter error maximum message length exceeded 145 is greater than 140. <laughs> that is awesome. That's funny. 145 is greater than 140. Oh my god, I never knew. <laughs> you can I also say that. like your away messages on here. Oh my God, I'm just thinking about the amazing <laughs> egg drop bots that you could now combine to Twitter <gasps> yes. through this. No, seriously, I once wrote a, um, oh, I wanted to show this on Hack5 and they changed it like the next week yeah, over. Yeah, they always but do using, that. There used to be an awesome PHP library to interface with Twitter over XMPP. It used to be that Twitter spoke XMPP, the same language that Jabber speaks, that Google Talk speaks, and using an awesome PHP library, you were able to, I, I was working on a, uh, a, uh, a Dungeons and Dragon game over <laughs> Twitter where you'd be able to attack your oh, friends and stuff. Like so and I did fun. the whole thing in PHP wow. with this XMPP thing for, uh, I could probably resurrect that code and now just spit it out to IRC instead of, oh, this, That's is, crazy. this is wicked. I'm, okay, yeah, I love it. Suddenly I want to hear what everybody <laughs> is thinking as far as the kind of integration they can do with this now. Yeah, me too. I definitely want to hear what other people have done with Biddleby because, I mean, this is just the beginning. There's so many more commands that you can learn for this program. Um, yeah, I really like it. I think it's so easy to use. It's really easy to set up. There's no really really amazing how-tos online, so I hope this was a good how-to for you guys. Yeah, and if, and if um, you have some more ideas of how we could integrate it with more things, hit us up, feedback at Hack5, or leave a comment. We're gonna take a quick break, but when we get back, I hear that it's trivia and technolist time. It it's is. It's just what I hear. Tastes delicious. So here's a fun little piece of trivia about the internet that we all know and love. Of course, it coming out of a Department of Defense project, but did you know that an RFC in 1984 proposed the very first five top-level domains. Gov, edu, com, mil, and org were on that list. What wasn't was .NET, but when those first five came to fruition, so did .NET. So it's no wonder why it's so globally understood and known and instantly adds credibility to your next project. I know that I got one when I got DarrenKitchen.com and HackAcrossAmerica.com. Uh, so if you already have a .com, protect your investment. Go ahead and get yourself a .NET. Or if you're considering a new domain and the .com is taken, a .NET is a perfect alternative. And when you're thinking about that .NET that you want to go ahead and get, you want to get it at Domain.com. That's where Shannon and I have been shopping. That's where Hack5 has been supported for years by these guys. They're huge fans of the show. They want to hook you up. So you can go over to Domain.com right now and use the coupon code HAK5. That's going to get you 15% off. They're already affordable domain names and hosting. And you should give them some love at Domain.com. They're awesome to work with. They have such an awesome uh, social network uh, presence on Twitter and uh, you know they're always there to help you out so tweet them some love for supporting Hack Across America get yourself 15% off with that coupon code and remember when you think domain names think domain.com coming in wide on RTFM this is Hack 5 with your weather report that cloud is getting cloudy let's DMCA the whole all right this week's 
Technolest photo of the week comes from Ewook. He sends us this photo and says, some cable salad for that monkey, Darren. Shot during a short workshop, the table was cleared a bit before it was taken. There is mayhem going on. You can send your photos to feedback at hack5.org, at hack5.org, to get your photo on next week's show. That's Use the subject line Technolest so we can find it. Thanks. Also, good to see emails from Ewook. I agree. Yes. Thanks, Ewook. You haven't emailed us in a while. You should do that. Or just leave a comment. Da, da, da. <laughs> what? Oh, wait, that's like what are we doing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You're projecting that. Uh, knock on wood. What? You knock on wood. Yeah. You're jinxing Ewok. Why? Because you're. Never mind. Let's just move on. Okay. Hi, my name is Darren Kitchen, and I've had too much caffeine. So he I'm going to kick it over to Shannon, who's yeah. going to tell us about the trivia question. OK, so last week's trivia question is, which of the following is a passive wireless discovery tool? This can be NetStumbler, Aircrack, Kismet, or NetSniff. Do you know the answer, Darren? Well, oh, because you're talking about passive. I passive. Well, OK, so I know that the de facto is Kismet, mm -hmm. but didn't NetStumbler do that as well? Passive. Passive, really? That Stumbler never did passive? Dude. Even with an Orinoco gold? Okay. The answer is kismet. I buy it. I buy it. All right. Now, this week's question is, what is TKIP, TKIP, and how does it make WPA2 a better security choice for your wireless network? Ooh, ooh, I know. You know this one? Yeah. It's kind of old, huh? Well. A little bit. It's kind of awesome. <laughs> you can send your answers to hack5.org slash trivia for your chance to, chance to win some swag. Not chins. And, and when she says swag, we're not sending you drugs. No, just to, we're uh, not. People keep saying that, but we're, we're not sending you drugs. I say swag. Drugs. Yeah, she means goodies from like, the hack shop. I also say y'all, and I say laptop. Like a, like a lab. Because like a she, dog. we need to get you a lab coat for your lab top. I agree. Yes. You well, can wear it. With all of that... I also say squirrels. And I sound like a squirrel. We'll probably just send you snubs. I'm really getting bored of her and annoyed. <laughs> Shut up. So, on all, with we all of that said... We value your feedback. You can email us all, all the time, all of the times, feedback at hack5.org. Let us know what you think of the show and if you I've driven you crazy throughout the entire thing. And don't forget, you can always follow everything that we are doing, including Hack Across America, oh, yes. over at hack5.org slash follow. We are, we're hacking America hack in like two weeks. America. Hack Across America. Hack Across America. Hack Across America. Hack Across America. There you go. Now, is it H-A-K? H-A-C-K. It's the one that I just... Thanks. Now registering more domains. Dang it. Herb Gert. So yeah, I guess you should register Thanks. both of them. <laughs> and uh, if you like what we're doing and you want to support us directly, you guys know hackshop.com where you just click the little store link and we have fun goodies there. You should check them out and uh, we definitely appreciate all the support that directly keeps Hack5 going. Yes. And it's all, all independent. That, the store is all independent. I love it's it. All it's us. indie. It's like boom. And yep. we let the monkey help. Yeah, Sometimes. I hope we're not breaking labor laws by Sometimes employing Greg, a monkey. I think I think he's good. We're rambling. I'm Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. Trust your technolost. I'm gonna do the same. I'm make the Hello same. world. We bye bye. And loop. Okay. It's time for the thingy 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 thingy. Let's get to the thingy 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 thingy. Okay. So, you use still AOL and MSN? Yeah, my ICQ number is seven. That's it? One, Just yeah, seven? No, uh, early adopter. What? Void main. Void main. Return zero. 